We start our day with a shower, which is delivered through a water supply system, including a well-designed network of pipes, water treatment plants, and other numerous associated services. Then we proceed to school or work, driving through a network of roads. In between, we come across huge structural bridges, canals, and tall buildings. All these essential structures are designed and constructed by some mastermind called the civil engineers. So let's start our engineering journey with a tour through civil engineering. I am Rahyanath and this is Educate Yourself. Civil engineering uses the principles of science and engineering to design and construct the physical environment, including structures like bridges, roads, dams, canals, buildings, etc. It is considered to be one of the oldest branches of engineering. It can be dated back to the first time someone placed a roof over his or her head or laid a tree trunk across a river. Roads of Roman Empire, Great Wall of China, Pyramids of Giza, and Stonehenge are some of the ancient civil engineering projects. The names of engineers who designed these wonders are lost to antiquity. The first self-proclaimed civil engineer was John Smitten, who constructed the Eddy Stone Lighthouse. Today, the public is more likely to remember the names of great civil engineering projects than the names of engineers who designed and built them, like the Burj Khalifa, Petronas Twin Towers, Helix Bridge, and so on. Civil engineers conceive, design, build, supervise, operate, construct, and maintain infrastructure projects and systems in the public and private sector, including roads, buildings, airports, tunnels, dams, bridges, and systems for water supply and sewage treatment. These engineers may also handle site preparation activities such as excavation, earth moving, and earth grading for large construction projects. Additionally, civil engineers may conduct or write the specifications for destructive or non-destructive testing of the performance, reliability, and long-term durability of materials. Civil engineering branches into many sub-branches of engineering like environmental engineering, geotechnical engineering, structural engineering, transportation engineering, water resources engineering, materials engineering, coastal engineering, urban planning, surveying, etc. Let's have a look at these in detail. Structural engineering. This branch of civil engineering encompasses the structural analysis and design of structures. Geotechnical engineering. In geotechnical engineering, the engineer studies soil, foundations, and bearing capacities. Environmental engineering. This civil engineering type is the study of environmental friendly designs, pollution and their resolutions, and sewage management. Transportation engineering. Civil engineers that specialize in transportation engineering will work with the planning, construction, and management of transportation facilities. Water Resources Engineering These engineers deal with the design and construction of hydraulic structures including dams, canals, and water distribution systems. Materials Engineering This branch of civil engineering deals with the study of material strength, properties of materials used in construction, and ceramics. Construction Engineering This civil engineering branch deals with the planning, construction, and maintenance of structures. Surveying This branch handles 
the surveying and leveling of land by using different instruments to map and contour the terrain. Municipal Engineering These engineers will work with urban or city government on planning and management of township. Coastal Engineering This branch of civil engineering deals with coastal and marine structures which include groins and embankments. Tunnel Engineering Civil engineers who specialize in tunnel engineering are responsible for the planning, designing, construction, safety, and maintenance of tunnels. A good civil engineer should have a level of maths and physics that allows for the identification and solving of engineering problems. They also need to be able to communicate in a clear and concise way. To keep a project on time and budget, they must be able to successfully lead all members of their team. Also, good problem-solving skill to deal with unexpected problems like burst water pipes, material delivery delays, or staffing issues. As the current infrastructure experiences growing obsolescence, civil engineers will be needed to manage projects to rebuild, repair and upgrade roads, buildings, dams, bridges, airports and so on. A growing population likely means that new water systems will be required while at the same time aging existing water systems must be maintained to reduce or eliminate leaks. In addition, more waste treatment plants will be needed to help clean the nation's waterways. Civil engineers will continue to play a key part in all of these works. The work of civil engineers will be needed for renewable energy projects. Thus, as these new projects gain approval, civil engineers will be further involved in overseeing the construction of structures such as wind farms and solar arrays. We hope you had a good time learning about the civil engineering major. Comment your thoughts on this video because it will help us improve. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for similar videos. Stay tuned. Stay safe. Bye.